Hey there, everybody. Good morning. It's Thursday and time for seven minutes in the morning. Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to uh, this Thursday installment of seven minutes in the morning. There's a little bit of lag going on here, so... That usually indicates that we might might have a challenge keeping the live stream going this morning. But you know what? We're going for it anyway. Hey, there's Mr. Hanley and Abby and Joe. Good morning to all of you. Thank you so much for being here and for those likes. We love them. Keep them coming. Those are awesome. So, um, yeah, all right. That got me derailed for a second. So, Listen, when you get here, whether you're watching live or on the replay, go ahead and do what these guys have done, guys and gal have done. Leave a comment. Say hi. Let me know that you're here. We appreciate hearing from you. So I, I, th- this morning I want to talk about um, thinking about wearing your customer's shoes. Well, we'll just call it that. How about that? Wearing your customer's shoes. You know, sometimes, let's see if I can do this. Hey, look. Sometimes when we have a business, we're, we're, we're working, either we own it, we operate it, we're employed by it, we're working to solve other people's problems. Sometimes we get so comfortable with working the problem from the backside that we forget what it feels like to have the problem solved from the front side. Here's what I'm talking about. Let's see if I can make this a little more clear happens a lot, a lot, hey, good morning, Kristen, happens a lot in retail, right, where you come in through the back door, you open the store, you turn things on, the lights on, cash register ready, all that, and then the very last thing you do is walk up to the front and unlock the front door, okay? You get really comfortable doing that. Well, all of your customers are coming in through the front door, so we but we forget that right what do they see what do they hear what do they smell when they come in through the front door right so we can we can become so comfortable doing what we do that we forget that what we do is new for our customer right and sometimes even when it's not new I mean, why do we go back to the same restaurant Right? Because the outcome is predictable. The result is predictable. And when it becomes unpredictable, we go and it's not as good a meal as we had, or we go and we can't get our favorite table or whatever, we stop going. Right? So you, you have to, it is incumbent upon us to remember that we are serving other people. And it is their perception of the truth, not ours their perception of the truth that matters. They are the ones that get to determine value. Right? And they can have their own set of metrics. And that's okay. In fact, we want it that way. But here's the problem we run into. And this is is manifest in this idea of not wearing your customer's shoes. We try to project upon them what they're supposed to feel. Can't tell you how many times I've had this conversation right here. But Tom, I've worked really hard and they just don't appreciate the effort I put into it. You're right, they don't. Because that's not what they wanted. You worked on what you wanted, not what they wanted. But by... By wearing the customer's shoes, we're putting ourselves into their position. What is this interaction like? What is this process like? What is this meal like? What's the result that I'm going to get? Right? And, 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 I, and I, I always encourage you, and this is why I like to use the restaurant example, because we all have had this experience. We have a favorite place we like to go eat. Very predictable, very comfortable. I know what I'm going to have. Don't even look at the menu anymore. 
and, and then something changes. I mean, Vicky and I had this experience um, more than once, but once in particular, I'm thinking, oh, we lived out in Texas. We would go every Tuesday night. We'd go, and then different owners took over. Food wasn't as good. The wait staff even said, "I'm sorry, this isn't as good as it used to be." Now they said it after I didn't eat the whole thing, but the point is, you know, even they knew that something was wrong. But when we forget that we are here to serve others, that's the beginning of the end. That this restaurant in particular, I mean, I, I put some effort into finding this stuff out, but the you know new owners were. It went from a, a single owner that owned this establishment who got bought out by a chain. The you know, chain's trying to optimize and, and squeeze money out. The, you know, the owner was trying to deliver good food. And so don't forget, you know, put your customer shoes on every once in a while. See how it feels to them. If you walked into an establishment, if you walked into a transaction, or even if you're a service provider, if you, you walk into this transaction and you're treated with somebody else and you were treated the way that you treat your customers, would you come back? Would you spend money? I mean, those are, those are great questions. I worked with this food service place one time and they did exactly what I described before. Came in through the back door, unlocked everything, opened everything, paid no attention to what well, they'd sweep and mop and whatnot. But for some reason, there was just a weird odor around the front door. And the, yeah, I always came in through the front door. I'm like, what smells up here? I don't know. We can't figure it out. Okay, well, you got to do something about this because people don't want to come in here to eat in a place that smells like this. So really simple, got a coffee pot, put the coffee pot up there and brewed coffee. Got rid of the smell. But but they were you know, as the commercial says, they'd become nose blind to it. They they didn't they didn't recognize it anymore, but it's the first thing that the customers recognized when they came in through the door. Yeah, so Kristen says, doesn't matter what you meant to say, it only matters what you said. Kristen, that's a super point, and I, I, I don't have my book here. I, I've got a great note written in there about how we judge other people against ourselves. And this, I mean, this kind of applies here. We judge ourselves based on our intent, yet we judge other people based on their actions, right? Well, I'm, my intent is for this to be a great experience for you. Yeah, well, your actions are not carrying that out. That's really what I want you to take away from today. This idea of wearing the customer's shoes is try to think about it from their perspective. Are your actions consistent with your intentions? Hey, Catherine, good morning to you. Mr. Hanley, how's New York City treating you? Things need to progress by some time. Oh, but sometimes things update and change just for the sake of it. Yeah, and, um, yes, you can do that and you can change things and changing things is, is, um, not always a bad thing, but the old axiom is very true. It's the Southern version of it, right? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. You know, if you've got, if you have a restaurant and people lined up around the door and a wait list that's an hour long every night, whatever you're doing is working, right? Do more of that. Now, you might be selling steak and you want to sell sushi, but if you got folks lined up around the block, keep selling cow, man. I mean, that, that that's working. When that drops off, and it will. You know, everything runs in cycles. When that drops off, start adding some, some seafood to the menu. Kristen says, this is huge in our company because we're basically insulting everyone to their face. So if it's not funny uh, and make sure it's insanely true, then they can, and they can connect because otherwise they would take offense. 
That, yeah, and I understand that based on what you guys are working on, yes, because you, you are, there's some parallels there with what I do, right? I mean, you're pointing out shortcomings, and you have to do that in a way that uh, allows people to see that. But, but super important for you, I agree with that. You have to think about how you're delivering this, in, in your case, from, from in the audience. How's the audience going to hear what you say? I might say something that I think is funny, but it's not received that way. Boy, do I have stories I could tell you about them. Uh, yeah, and Catherine's point, are you focused on serving the customer? Or are you focused on getting what you want? And, and you know, honestly, for those of us that are in business, that's why a lot of us start is to get what we want. But you get what, as Zig Ziglar said, you know, you can have anything in life you want if you help enough other people get what they want. Starts with other people. Ends with you. All right, that's it for today. Listen, if you found any value in our time together this morning, I would appreciate it if you would share it with the people in your network. They will love you for it because they'll get value from it too, and I will love you for it because it helps spread the love. Quick reminder, today is Thursday. That means tomorrow, number one at 7 o'clock is Free Coaching Friday, and number two at 7.45 tomorrow, if you are in the Huntsville area, you should be... (coughs) at Calhoun Community College for hot coffee. I actually said Hudson Alpha earlier this week on the radio. I messed that up because it's at Calhoun this week. If you go to Hudson Alpha, you're going to the wrong place. But you should be there this Friday because I hear they have a pretty good speaker showing up. It should at least be entertaining to see what he has to say. I don't know. And maybe, maybe Heine the Mule will make a trip there with him as well. All right. So, Free coaching Friday in the morning. Remember, get your questions uh, in or get them ready. Try to stump me in the morning. I will do the show in the morning. Might do it from the car or might do it from uh, from our hot coffee venue, but I will do it. I'll be looking for your questions. You can try and stump me. Yeah, I'm going to try. I'm a funny, uh, you know, I look funny, so that gives me a head start. Uh, I'll look forward to talking to you guys in the morning. You guys have a fantastic Thursday. Remember, it's Thursday. Be thankful today. What are you thankful for? Share that in the comments. That would be awesome as well. You guys have a great Thursday, and I will talk to you again tomorrow.